is your boys. That's right. I don't know what they're going to say, but whatever they say, they say it's smooth. This young man is hoping for me and smash it. He's headlined here and smash it. He is hilarious, and he is still active Navy, so he's a little grouchy because he ain't had no fucking sleep. So watch yourself. Give up my dad, Mr. Pete McCormick, y'all. Superfly, motherfucker, I wouldn't even thought about when I saw that thing. <laughs> you know that because I wore this hat, man? I know I look like a seventh player, man. I look like somebody from the 60s that you know that was like, it should have been a temptation of motherfuckers in the first group that didn't make it. <laughs> With this hat on. He saw what I was there. You know, I've been locked up, man. I'm gonna have to be out. I've been locked up. I was locked up for 30 days, man. I'm gonna have to get out. It's called being out to sea on the Navy ship. That's what that yeah. shit's called. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody say being been locked up and been on the Navy ship for 30 days, like, man, like, let me tell you something, you wear a jumpsuit, you do the same damn thing every day for 30 days, you get off your workout and read. That's locked up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I almost thought about converting to Islam. That's how I fuck up that shit. <laughs> I'm going around and shit to my house on my leg on my brother. <laughs> but you know, and you, 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 you joke about that, but it was actually a guy on my ship. His name was Jones. He actually was a Muslim. He was a cook. They put him on the line serving bacon. <laughs> Like, hey, John, let me get, let me get some of those eggs, some of the waffles, and you can bacon. He said, what you want, brother? He said, a bacon. It's not like you asked for that bacon. You're not getting none of that swine you want to white man's trap. Why didn't you tell me that when I went to the recruiter's office? That was the white man's trap going to the recruiter's office. Look what you had nine months ago, Jones. <laughs> they, man, they, they everybody was talking about the Navy was an adventure. Let me tell you something. If you think that's an adventure, you must think a trip to Alcatraz is a damn uh, trip to Disneyland, then. That ain't no damn adventure. It's horrible, man. I, I regret even going to my, I remember when I went to my recruits, my recruits said, why do you want to join the Navy? I said, later, I am 24 years old working retail for $7.50 an hour, 28 hours a week. That's why I want to come in here. She said, you ain't join for Patriots. I do, bitch, I don't give a damn about being a Patriot. I don't even fuck with the New England Patriots. <laughs> care about Tom Brady. Good time, baby. But you know what? The Navy is better than that job I had because uh, before this, I was a financial distribution officer for a major pharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all like, damn, that sound really important. That ain't nothing but a fancy way of saying a nigga was a cashier wall. Right? That's all I was doing. <laughs> you know, I went to college for four years, got a bachelor's degree, and my only reward was asking if you want paper or plastic. <laughs> And this is what killed me about it. Who in here has worked retail, has worked retail currently? Crap your hands, you have worked retail, you worked retail currently. Twice. twice, only twice? Well, that's, you lucky, bro. I've just been doing this up in 16 before I joined the Navy. Man, this is what I hear about retail. Anybody, so how y'all familiar with the, uh, the, 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 uh, the interview process, right? Where they ask you, you know they ask some stupid ass questions like, tell me about a time you had to complete something real difficult, not to get through it. Well, something real difficult I had to do, like to come in and act like I wanted to care about this damn job. <laughs> and I got through it, I got drunk if I got up here. <laughs> then they ask you other stuff about your coworkers, like if you saw Billy crying at work, what would you do? Fuck Billy, I'm gonna go clock in and go to work. <laughs> They want to, you be drug free when you come up there. Let me tell you something, $7.50 an hour, you ought to have whatever damn drug I want when I clock in. <laughs> now, I'm put this on record, I'm not an advocate with drugs, I'm in the military and I'm, I am drug free. I just want that to go out. <laughs> but if I was to do drugs, if I was to do drugs, I'm just advocating this. When you clock in, they ought to have two lines of cocaine, <laughs> the fattest blunt of Cali Kush that that guy has made, the purest pot, <laughs> and a spoonful of hair. <laughs> <laughs> when you come, when you come up to the counter, somebody at Walgreens, you ought to be able to see this night in May. Hey, welcome to Walgreens. I can help you. 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 I can help you.
You want all, you want all, you want, you want, but new posts, you want new posts, okay, we got new posts, new posts are 550, then 550, then 550, come on, come on, this way, man, just come on. You gave me 20? Um, I'm not gonna be able to give you change, like I can't believe it, fast. And then you got them, everybody had their one manager working at uh, retail, you had one manager taking a job too damn serious, you think he big shit, cause he the store manager. That's how my store manager was, I am the store manager, you will respect me, let me tell you something. I worked at Walgreens in Atlanta, Georgia, and never did I hear girls come in the store like, girl, it's going down at the club tonight. We got some Atlanta Falcons coming there. We got some Atlanta Braves. We got some Atlanta Hawks. We got some singers, some actors, but most of all, girls, we got some Walgreens store managers. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to hit the jackpot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike Show ass. And I'm gonna tell you this to all the customers coming in, especially you white people, because I don't know why you say this shit to somebody in the front counter. We can take our business elsewhere. You sure the hell can that as a senior is two blocks down. You can tell them Pete sent you. Y'all laughing, but I sent so many people to CVS when I was working at Walgreens when I was in the mountain. CVS made me their employee of the month, August 2012. Go to the Walgreens on, I mean, go to CBS on Peach Street, and you'll see me sitting there holding my Walgreens bag with one hand on the middle finger and the other. Damn, about that job. But it was bad, you know, I had to take that job. Before I took that job, I was broke. You know how I knew I was real broke? I was so broke, every college commercial was making sense to me. <laughs> I was sitting there like this motherfucker, right? I am, not, I am sitting on the couch not doing shit with my life. <laughs> I need to make a call that's gonna benefit me in my future. I'll call this number right now. I'll be a medical assistant starting tomorrow. <laughs> but what really drove home the point to me that I was I was broke was when a dude robbed me. He took my uh, social security card. I guess he figured he was gonna take my steal my identity. He knocked on my door two hours later. He gave me that and my social security card back at 200. I said, nigga, kill yourself. That's ridiculous. Call <laughs> <laughs> Freddycarm.com, man. <laughs> It's horrible out here, man. It's, you know, California dating is it's hard if you got somebody. Like I said, y'all been watching y'all all night. Y'all look like y'all so much love. What y'all, y'all married? Y'all think y'all just fuck? She might want to join, but she all over there. I've been looking at them. Don't fuck with them. Keep rolling. Yeah, they got going over there. But what, what are y'all? Are y'all just fucking? Or what, what's going on? You just fucking. Man, don't be so don't be ashamed. You funny, you're not talking about that bitch saying over there, that's what we know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking about that, I'm just going to talk to you, I'm trying, I gotta act like I actually like them when I talk to them. And I don't, it's that beard, man, I can't grow one of them. But I want to say whatever y'all get to me, but I can't grow it, man, I mean, it's just, I like to help anyway, but be quiet, let me do this. Um, <laughs> but whatever y'all got going, man, don't let nobody break it up, because, man, whatever you got going on, that's a beautiful thing, man. Don't let people break anything up. It's better to complain. People complain all the time. My girlfriend does it all the time. She always complain to me about her husband, man. I'm sick of that shit, man. <laughs> I'm so sick of complaining to me about her husband every damn day. I had to call him one day and said, bro, let me talk to you, man. I said, who is I said, make this other dude. Let me talk to you, man. I don't know what's going on with y'all, but I'm not ready to be her boyfriend, man. We got a good thing. I got to buy another because I ain't got to alert you when she get a new gift. I ain't gotta take her nowhere because she ain't gotta worry about seeing you, you beating her ass. Man, we got a good thing going on. If you fuck this up for me, I'll kill you, bro. <laughs> I will pay for your counsel. Do you understand me? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this before I get out of here. Who in here watches Orange is Do Black, man? Anybody watch Orange is Do Black? I watch it. You say you do? I watch it. That's why I actually watched it, bro. Like, I mean, you was like, I watched it, I mean, that was a. Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you actually fucking raise your hand as well. I, I, well, I don't know, but they didn't say nothing, though. It's a quiet game right now. Oh. <laughs> That is not teaching your kids about jail. You know where your kids are learning about jail from preschool? That's where your kids are learning about jail from. Yeah. Think about it. They teach them March single file lines, March two in front of the cell block. <laughs> now it gets lights out. <laughs> um, uh, snack and, and, and lunch is child. Recess is work detail. I mean, recess is uh, yard time. Or yeah. practice is work detail. When they too bad, they put them in time out. That's solitary confinement. <laughs> I how this was uh, influencing our kids when I would pick my niece up and say, hey, baby, how was your day? They say it was good. We see a little bitch over there. I said, well, wait a minute. What the? <laughs> <laughs> the cute with the damn dimples and the uh, pig tussle. What 
her box and say she she owed me and my crew three boxes Teddy Graham. She didn't want to pay back. So we going to stick her ass on y'all. You gonna stick her ass in the yard tomorrow? You gonna stick her ass in the yard? What you gonna stick? She said, with this, this little motherfucker put out a seven inch shield made out of macaroni and glue. <laughs> y'all make people cry, y'all gonna want them to cry. Man, they need to let that man work because he bringing the heat. Right. One more time for people, what y'all think?